single acting cylinder control um, single acting cylinder only uh, extend uh, just move in one direction so if the fluid is coming this way then it will extend all the way and then it will stop so there is no back and forth uh, so that's called single acting cylinder now this uh, piece here is a directional valves uh, directional it basically directs the flow uh, valves so it's a directional valves and it has uh, two envelopes so you got one on the left so this is one envelope and then this is another envelope so when in this situation this pump this is a pump this is a strainer and this is a reservoir and this is a pressure relief valve pressure relief valve now when uh, at this setup so pump is um, when the pump is acting and then this this end is kind of blocked so there will be no flow nothing will happen to the cylinder now this is the left envelope and this is the right envelopes now when we engage the left this manual control manually control lever we just engage the as you can see this one was kind of uh, forward slash this one is backward slash so uh, we, we kind of engage that uh, envelope this this envelope so when you engage this envelope as you can see this pump line uh, whatever that flow is coming is kind of connected to this line so what you can think is just move this envelope this way kind of slide that whole piece to the right so that this uh, left envelope get engaged now when the left envelope engaged then it goes like that so the flow will go now here in the cylinder and then this uh, rod will try to extend once it's done extending there will be no more extension and then if the pump is still running then all the fluid will go this way and through the pressure relief valve will engage this will kind of connect it here like this and then it will dump all the fluid here so that is how the directional um, the control of a single acting cylinder single acting cylinder it only extend and then a uh, you can use a um, directional valves now this directional valves has particular name it has two envelopes and then this one envelope to the right side and then one envelope to the left side and it has a uh, three fluid uh, ports so here you get one port here is another port and then here is another port so it doesn't matter which way you connect you will have a uh, three uh, port um, in this um, uh, system see here you got another output port like that so there is one port one port one port so uh, fluid is coming through this and then going to that way and then there is another port so if you have three port that's called three way three way and then this one has two envelopes so it can take two position either left or right so position so it's called three way two position directional control valve um, Thank mm -hmm. you.